Hey guys, Gary Wagner here, 800 Biz Ninja Marketing and the Ninja Marketing Dojo. I had a call today with, uh, with a friend that was trying to set up social learning on their Facebook group and didn't know how to get it added on, so I thought I would do a quick video, show you how to add the social learning component uh, of Facebook groups in and how to use those. They're a really cool tool because it lets you create sort of an online class program within your Facebook group where you can actually have units and have people move through this learning process. So it's a it's a neat little tool if you're running a group for education purposes or I want to add an education component to your fans. So here's a, just a quick video on how you set that up. So you go to your Facebook group that you want to use, and this happens to be one of my groups that I administer. And so when you, you'll see that there's no unit over here, unit section, which is where that would be. So what we want to do is we want to go to more, and we want to go to edit group settings. And when you go to the edit group settings, you'll scroll down here, and you'll see sections. And what we want to add then is the social learning units. So we say add that to our group. That saves the changes. You're going to notice here now that your, your menu under your navigation has the units tab. Click the units. And now it tells you you have the social learning units. And you can create a unit. And So the next step once you've created your group is to create a unit so you will see once you come to the page here is the blue create a unit button so you click that and then it's going to take you to the unit name so we're gonna I'm just gonna create one here so we're gonna say uh, we'll put in the name of the unit and now the description and we say create unit if you check this make this unit optional it won't be counted when somebody completes it and marks a unit done so I usually leave it um, I usually usually leave it unchecked so we say create a unit and then once the unit is created now it's going to we'll see our unit here uh, if this is the first unit you've created then it will it will bring up the unit and let you uh, create a post underneath it which will look something like this so this is the screen you will come to if this is the first unit you've created so it's going to say write a post and this is where we're going to put our content for this unit if we want to add media this will allow you to input a, a, a JPEG or a GIF it won't accept it won't accept PDF files so you would have to load those in your file section but it does it will just accept a, a pictures basically a P, a PNG GIF or JPEG once we've got this in there we click post and here is our our unit or the uh, piece of information for our unit we're gonna go back to the units tab here and now you'll see I actually have two units in this one. So I've got a, a with each with one post. If you want to reorganize these, so let's say you've got four or five posts inside of a unit, all you have to do is click on the unit that you want to work on. Or if you let's say you want to add a second post, now I want to put something else under this one. I would just copy and paste the the text I want to put here just the same as we just did uh, add files anything we wanted to do and that's how you would create more content under each under each unit once you have the content created let's say that you want to reorganize that content so I'm gonna go up here to my units I'm gonna say edit this unit and then you'll see right here reorder the post now I only have one but if I if I had multiple posts inside of this unit then all you have to do is drag and drop so you can reorder them by just dragging and dropping them in any way that you want once you're done you click Save and that reorders the the content under that unit when somebody views uh, views a unit they can 
work their way through the content. Now, when someone comes to view a unit of information, they're going to come here. They can click on um, they can click on the the unit they want to work on. So let's say they want to read this particular unit right here, or work on this one. Once they've read the entire unit, they can click done. That tracks their progress through that, and it and it will uh, register. It will register under a counter at the top to show how they are progressing through your content. So, and it's a good way to give them kudos. You'll see that there's you'll see a little meter at the top that shows how far somebody has has um, progressed through a unit. So it's a good way to give them some recognition for completing your content. As you see right here, two zero of two required units completed. So as I complete those, you'll see it gives you know it will it would create a record to say it's done. So let's let's go do one here. Now you see right up here, and it shows my completion bar as one of one completed. So that's the social learning unit in Facebook. It's a really cool tool to be able to walk people through uh, your group to get them educated for uh, whether it be educational purposes, whether it be encouragement purposes, or whatever you're trying to do. But it's a great little tool to be able to have them participate and you can recognize their participation. So check out the social learning in Facebook groups and hopefully this was a helpful video. Once again, I'm Gary Wagnon, 800 Biz Ninja Marketing and the Ninja Marketing Dojo. If you're frustrated or struggling with trying to trying to master the digital marketing, whether it be uh, whether it be social media, whether it be content marketing, blogs, videos, the Ninja Marketing Dojo is the place for you. We have tons of videos, how-to videos on everything from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, blog content. Uh, to email marketing. So we have all of the things you need to build a successful digital marketing program at your fingertips for a very affordable cost designed for small businesses. So if you're interested, go check out the Ninja Marketing Dojo and we will see you on the next video.